This video is sponsored by Danger Close Armament. They are a veteran-owned and operated company producing the finest polymer frame self-defense pistols in the world. They start with an honest assessment of the handguns and identify many of the shortcomings. You can purchase a complete pistol or have them work on yours. They perform on slide machining, $100 optic cuts, slide coatings, and sell parts and accessories. Check them out at DangerCloseArmament.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I've been going through my safes and I decided to show off my shotgun. So that's what this video is about. It's a shotgun collection video and I have a pretty diverse collection here. You just may like it. Let's start out here with the Mossberg Maverick 88. They call it a working man's shotgun. MSRP 245 shooters were picking this up for right around 200 bucks. It's a steal. Barrels are interchangeable with the Mossberg 500 20 inch barrel with the security model. Flat dark earth furniture, corn cob four end, seven plus one capacity. Does have a cross bolt safety right there. Nice smooth action, nice rubber recoil pad. The Mossberg Maverick 88, very popular reputation. People love it. They love the price and the function of it. Along with the capacity, I find it an all around fine shotgun. Here's a magazine fed semi-auto 12 gauge shotgun called the Rock Island VR80. Shooters like the AR positioned controls, has a 20 inch barrel with screw in chokes, flip up sights included in the case. It's a smooth shooter. For a, a, a 12 gauge shotgun, it's very smooth. Currently I have a five round mag in there. Nine and 19 round mags are also available, two and three quarter inch, and a very nice handguard. MSRP $699. It became very popular. A lot of people appreciate the VR80. Here's a Stoger coach gun with 20 inch barrels. I love coach guns. They're, they're a lot of fun. They're easy to disassemble, easy to operate. And I think Stoger does a good job right in the mid 400s is what you could get this for. I went with the single trigger. I like how quick it resets and I like the, the quick shooting that it offers. A lot of people like the double triggers. But it does have a modified choke and a fixed cylinder choke with, with the barrels. Gives you a little bit of diverse shooting, but this will certainly get the job done. It's been very reliable for me. It does have extractors and not ejectors, but a nice shotgun overall. My favorite 12 gauge shotgun is right here. A Remington V3 Tactical. This is amazing. It has the VersaPort gas system that feeds and fires all loads. Even the heavy three inch Magnum loads don't feel that bad because it is very smooth. I, I'm so impressed with it. 18 and a half inch vent rib barrel. A barrel clamp there with an M-lock slot on both sides for attachments. Seven plus one, two and three quarter inch capacity. Oversized charger, bolt release, and cross bolt safety. Overall, an excellent shotgun. Sells over a grand if you could find one. I find this to be an amazing semi-auto shotgun that seems to do it all and for whatever platform you're looking to do it all with. Here's another shotgun load firearm called the Henry Lever Action Axe. Chambered in 410, it is five plus one with a 15 inch barrel. A very wide lever action loop right there. This is just plain fun. You know, you got that 410 and it's very hard to find these days, but when it was plentiful, I loved shooting the lever action axe. It's a good looking firearm. It's expensive, goes over a grand, but it's certainly small, lightweight, compact. And if you get the right load in 410, it'll get the job done in home defense. I will guarantee that. The right load, very important right there, but this lever action axe is so nice. Here we have a new Mossberg 590S. A tactical model with a four end that has M lock slots, a 20 inch barrel, eight plus one, two and three quarter inch. It has a cylinder bore choke. You can purchase other ones, screw them in there, whatever you choose. A ghost ring rear sight, synthetic furniture, same platform as Mossberg with the thumb safety and the, the smooth action. But it also accepts and feeds and fires mini shells, and you can alternate those. I did that with my range review, and I found that to be very cool. A little pricey, 731 MSRP, but it's a nice shooting and very optional loading Mossberg. Another budget shotgun is the Rock Island All Generations. MSRP, 
$299. It is a 12 gauge pump action shotgun that has very nice furniture, kind of Magpul ish, but it's not Magpul. And a pretty smooth action, 5 plus 1 capacity, a serrated vent rib barrel. Right, it offers a cheek riser right there, so it does have some very nice features in there. Uh, additional screw and chokes as well, but the all generation for a very fair price is a nice entry level 12 gauge pump action shotgun. Here's another pump action 12 gauge that I've had a long time. It's called the Remington 870 Express Tactical. This has been very reliable, has an 18 and a half inch barrel, currently a door breaching choke. This could be removed and other chokes added. Seven plus one capacity, big old barrel clamp right there. Nice smooth action. The sight system has a ghost ring right there. Excess sight, ramped up front sight. I'm not sure what's going on with Remington right now. You know, it's pretty confusing. I don't even know if you can find this these days, but since day one, this has performed very well for me. Here's a CZ coach gun called the Sharp Tail. CZ makes some great shotguns. The Sharptail has Turkish walnut furniture, color case hardened receiver, 20 inch barrels, a lever right there that allows you to choose which barrel to shoot first. This is a single trigger model. The trigger resets very fast. I, I really do enjoy this CZ Sharptail. It's, it's a bit expensive, over a grand, but I find it well worth the price. Here's a Mossberg 510 Youth Mini Bantam chambered in 410 camouflage finish on it very small stock made for the youth a good training tool and, and the 410 would be something that younger kids could get used to and comfortable with shotguns 18 and a half inch barrel and 410 it does hold three with one in the chamber a dual bead sight system and that same mossberg pump action that so many people love Pretty cool shotgun. If you have young kids, this would be a nice model getting them into shotgun shooting. My favorite 12 gauge firearm for home defense is right here, a Remington V3 TAC-13. It has the verse support gas system that reduces recoil and feeds and fires everything. It's been so reliable. I love this firearm, 13 inch vent ribbed serrated barrel, barrel clamp there. I mentioned five plus one, it does have the strap right here to help control bird's head grip but this thing is amazing and i know a lot of people wanted it it's hard to find right now i'm so happy i have this because i can't think of a better home defense firearm than this it's, it's so compact so small and so reliable and that verse support system that remington offers is certainly a worthy choice on on any semi-auto shotgun I love 20 gauge shotguns, but the only one I currently own is this New England Firearms Single Shot Break Open 20 gauge shotgun. These are cheap. Like you can pick this up for under 100 bucks, perhaps at a pawn shop. It does have ejectors, so you can load it up pretty quick, but just simply pull that hammer back and fire away. I got this, I think, for 70 bucks a long time ago, but it's always been really nice. And a lot of people tell me that. This was the first shotgun they ever fired, and they, they've hunted with it for years, and it, it has a, a very fine reputation throughout the years, as well as color case hardened receiver. Here we have an over-under 12-gauge called the Stoger Double Defense. It's a tactical model with rails between the barrels, and on top, a single trigger, over-under, easy operation. Has some jeweling below the barrel right there. Simple disassemble, does have a fiber optic front sight, and a nice shooter. Now, I can't say I put a lot of rounds through this, but when I have taken it to the range, I certainly enjoyed it. MSRP, 479 and if you love double barrels, this is a pretty cool model. Cheating a bit here, not a shotgun, but a 12-gauge firearm called the Mossberg Shockwave 590S with the 14-inch barrel. They make another model that's a bit longer, higher capacity magazine tube. This is a five plus one, two and three quarter inch shells, but what it allows is reliable feeding and firing of mini shells, and you can alternate those. A lot of people find that attractive. You don't need an adapter with this 590S. Corn cob forend with a strap, beaded front sight, Raptor grip, and overall a nice 
Home defense shotgun, I think would be the, the one of the best purposes for it, but I certainly have always appreciated the Shockwave models. Here we have a Remington 870 DM. Pump action, 12 gauge, magazine fed shotgun with mags that carry six rounds. It is very similar to the Express Tactical that I showed you, the 870 Express Tactical, except for Magpul furniture. This is a Magpul edition, which is always nice. Magpul does some great work. 18 and a half inch door breaching choke right there. You can remove that and put chokes internally. Beaded front, wrapped up front sight, excess rail, ghost ring, rear sight. I used to like this more than the Express Tactical. Now I like the Express Tactical a little more, a little more compact. And you don't have to keep mags loaded, but I do find this to be a very well made and well shooting and very reliable shotgun. Here's a shotgun that has not worked well for me throughout the years. I need to send this back to Mossberg. Here is a semi-auto 930, 12 gauge, 18 and a half inch barrel door breacher that is not a choke. It, it does not screw in. It is fixed there. A four plus one, two and three quarter inch. When it, when it worked, it was great, but I'm having some extraction and ejection issues so i'm gonna have to send this back i've been very lazy with that but it goes around 700 bucks all right i remember buying this at walmart and back when they were a little more two-way friendly and i got a good deal it was like right around 500 bucks i was so happy to get it but disappointed with its performance i suppose i should get that taken care of for those of you who have stuck around to the end you would have seen 16 separate shotguns and I'm not done. I've got a few others on my mind right now that I just may pick up, hopefully, rather soon. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.